Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to this evening's Good Friday to Zay uh, Contemplative Service. It's good to see many of you. Hi, Judy. Hi, Sharon. Um, good to have you here. Um, tonight, we are going to be gathering um, in a time of gentle contemplation and stillness, just an opportunity to catch our breaths in the midst of everything going on um, in our world and, and in our own lives. Um, so I invite you right now to find a comfortable space, if you haven't already, to just um, settle in, to be able to rest and renew and be still in God's Word, accompanied by um, both candlelight here and also contemplative music. If you have candles at home that you would like to put near you to light, we are going to be lighting um, candles in the middle of the service representing our prayers for people or circumstances that are on our heart or mind, or just a reminder of the light that we all carry. Um, so I invite you to get those. And if you don't have any, don't be concerned, um, you can rest in the candles that I have here tonight. Um, this will be about a 40 minute service, as best I can tell. Um, the lyrics for the Taze songs that we are gonna be hearing tonight are on the Facebook page that you're on. Uh, they were posted earlier today if you wanted to look at those. Tonight, we will be hearing Jesus' final and last words from the cross found in three different gospels and we'll be looking at six different scriptures in total. There'll be Taze music played in between those scriptures um, to grant an opportunity for us to just be still, to pray, um, to settle, to remember together, and to rest in God. So the music tonight, Taze music, comes from the Taze community and ecumenical monastic order in Taze, France, uh, which is composed of more than a hundred brothers, um, Protestant and Catholic both, um, who originate from about 30 different countries around the world. The Taze chants emphasize simple phrases. Many of them come from the Psalms and the scriptures. Um, and so, and they re, they're repetitive. You will hear the same lines repeated over and over. And sometimes they're sung in canon. Um, before we get started, Betty, it is good to see you. Dale, glad you're joining us tonight. Now let us begin. And we'll start with a portion of Jesus' trial, a scene that is found in both Mark and John's Gospel, and we're going to hear a little bit from both Listen to God's Word. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to be crucified. When the chief priests and the guards saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, we have no king but Caesar. Then Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull in Hebrew, known as Golgotha.
on this evening, we gather to remember Jesus, the light of the world, the light of our world, who loved us and gave himself for the sake of all humanity. Let us draw near to Christ in full assurance of God's endless love and mercy. We stand in awe of the courageous and sacrificial love of Christ who carries our sorrows, knows our troubles, and heals our wounds, and redeems us from even the darkest part of our lives. Will you pray with me? Loving Jesus, we are here, and we give thanks for your presence here with us, for your light that lends us hope even on a night like this, we gather at your cross, like Mary, your mother, and the faithful women, and John, whom you asked Mary to claim, and we wait for your word to us. Claim us wherever you find us this evening. Speak to us in your ever-speaking voice. Grant us your word again through your Holy Spirit. For us, it is not yet finished. We are here, you are here. Enter the dimmest corners of our lives and unveil love's hope in us for the sake of the world that you so love. We pray these things, amen. Hear now the, the words of Jesus from Luke's Gospel, chapter 23, verses 33 to 38. Two criminals were led away to be put to death with Jesus. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they cast lots to divide Jesus' clothing, and the people stood by watching. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, this is the King of the Jews. <laughs>
Hear now the words of Jesus from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 45 to 49. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloe, Eloe, Lima, Sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and save him. Hear now from the Gospel of Luke, 
chapter 23, verses 39 through 43. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we've been condemned justly. For the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes, but this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus,
now from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 25 through 27. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom Jesus loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Yes. join me in prayer. It is in the stillness of this moment, O oh God, that we lay ourselves and our lives and our prayers and those we love at the foot of your cross. We trust that Christ's light that now is beginning to dim 
is the same light that's been given to each of us to carry into the world. Now, as we begin to light candles on this night, grant that they may be a reminder of our call to leave death behind and be Christ's illumination of love in a dark world. We give thanks that Jesus will be with us through it all. Let us now share our light. Let us share our heart and our spirit as an act of thanksgiving for Christ's everlasting love that will go to all lengths, even death, that we might live. Amen. During this next chant, if you have candles around, this is an opportunity for you to light candles as a reminder of the own light, your own light that you have to share, um, and also to light candles for people or circumstances um, that are weighing heavy on your mind, to be able to lift them up. If you don't have candles, um, I will be praying as I have been all night for anyone who's participating tonight and um, will hold you uh, in my prayers. God's Word from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verses 46 to 49. 
Jesus crying with a loud voice said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. Hear now the words from John chapter 19, verses 28 to 30. This is our final scripture. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it up to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head, and he gave up his spirit.
Go in peace.